It's been a few weeks since I had some chill time creating cool landing page animations. It's because I have been focusing on scroll trigger, sliders and menus more lately, but this weekend I decided to go back to the basics. I have put together a responsive landing page using GSAP featuring layouts mainly designed with Flexbox and animations driven by clip paths. Before we jump into the tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing if you find the video helpful. Alright, let's get started. Let's begin by setting up a container. First, I'll add a navigation bar and a footer. Within the navigation bar, I'll insert some placeholder links. The footer will contain some simple dummy text for now. Next, I will add another container specifically for the video. Inside this container, I'll place a video element that auto plays on a loop. For now, I'll use a local video file from my project folder. Following that, I'll create a wrapper to house the reveal blocks. I'll place a few divs inside it. Now let's focus on a key element, the header. In the header, I'll introduce a div with the class name of header item. In each header item, I will add one more wrapper to wrap individual letters. Each of these wrappers will allow us to apply a clipping mask which will enable us to animate each letter through it. I'll then add 6 more header items, each containing one letter. We'll also need a counter. For this, I'll use a simple paragraph text that we will animate with GSAP to serve our countdown. Finally, I'll insert some additional text to serve as our tagline. Let's get to styling now. I'll start by removing all margins and paddings and setting the box sizing to border box. This ensures that all elements will include padding and border in the element's total width and height, creating a more consistent layout across different browsers. Now let's style the container. I'll set the container to take the full width and height of the viewport with overflow hidden to prevent any scrolling. Moving on to the navigation and footer, I'll add some generic styling to position them at the top and bottom of the page, taking full width. Next, for all links and paragraphs, I'll remove text decorations and set their color to white. I'll also define the fonts and transform the text to uppercase. Now let's set up the tagline. I'll position it absolutely within the container, center it horizontally at the bottom and ensures it occupies 30% of the width. For the video, it will fill the entire viewport. I'll set it to cover the available space entirely without any distortion. The blocks will also cover the viewport displayed as a flex container making each block feel the entire height. Each block will have a solid black background with the clip path property. We will update its values as a reveal animation. I'll make the header item fonts large and yellow and set a font family. Moving to the header, it will take up 70% of the viewport's width and will be centrally placed. The header will display its wrappers in a row, centered both vertically and horizontally. Each header item will also have a clip path for the letter animation and a mix blend mode set to difference to create striking visual contrast against the video in the background.
The counter will be small, centered block near the bottom of the viewport. I will add some generic styling to it as well. Lastly, for responsiveness, I will tweak the styling for the tagline, counter and the blocks. That's pretty much it. Now let's get to JavaScript part to animate all these elements together. We'll start by creating a timeline with GSAP that begins after a slight delay of 1.75 seconds. This timeline will coordinate the sequencing and the timing of our animations. I'll also create an array of values, calling it moments. We will use these values to animate Y property of each letter. Initially, we position our header elements 100 pixels down and the paragraphs within the counter 35 pixels down from their final position, hiding them behind the clip mask. To start off, the H1 elements smoothly transition to their original position over one second, staggered slightly for a dynamic effect using a strong easing. Simultaneously, the counter paragraph moves into its start position and then progresses through a series of upward movements, mimicking a countdown effect, each step increasing in delay just so it looks like a real countdown. As the elements move, the tagline fades in front from below, gradually becoming visible. Next, I will dramatically increase the font size of H1 text, making it a focal point of the page. While also removing the clip path from the header items, just due to increased size, the text doesn't cut off. While the size of the header elements is being animated, we will also animate the clip mask of the blocks with random stagger. At the same time, we will go through the movements array and add a GSEP animation to each letter to move the letters to their ending position based on the array values. Lastly, elements like the logo, links and footer paragraphs are animated to slide up and fade in. And that's pretty much it. This is how we can create a decent, engaging landing page just with simple timeline animations. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.